Most of us have seen graffiti or street art all over our city or on social media. But have you ever thought about the impact it has on our lives? Is it a crime or is it simply a form of art? Graffiti could be traced back all the way to the Paleolithic era, as we could see in the cave painting of Lisco. However, modern graffiti emerged in the late 1960s, and the famous street artist Cornbread was the one who led the movement to its current state with his unique lettering. One of today's most famous artists is Banksy. Very little is known about Banksy. He remains anonymous due to the fact that he didn't want to get in trouble with the law, which is also why most of his work is done by stencil. It allows him to get in and out of places quickly. In addition, he remains anonymous to make sure his artwork is the main focus rather than his fame, because he noticed that by being anonymous, more people were intrigued. Banksy is famous for his artwork, which deals with economic and political oppression, sexuality, war and peace, along with other issues. The artwork I will be focusing on is the cave painting of Let's Go. The graffiti painting was created in May 2008 in a tunnel for the Cannes Festival on Lake Street, London. Banksy's cave painting of Les Cole's focal point is a young man in an orange vest power washing away stick figures and animals, the prehistoric caving of Les Cole. In addition, the painting uses a local color palette, has visual texture and shows movement by the use of white paint as water coming out from the power washer. The painting was created for the Cannes Festival, which took place from May 3rd to the 5th in London. Binksy invited artists to come out and add their work to the tunnel. Many artists from all over the world, like Canada, Brazil, and Australia, went to London to be part of this. In addition to the street art that was created, installation pieces were also added, along with statues. The young man that is the focal point is power washing away the cave painting of Lasco. The cave painting of Lasco was discovered on September 12, 1940 by accident by four teenagers. The painting could be traced back as early as 40,000 years. The cave painting is believed to have been an illustration of a landscape, ritual symbol, or a system for transmitting social values and information. While the protagonists in the paintings are animals like bulls and deers, there are human figures that are depicted through stick figures and lack facial expression. Banksy's artwork could be depicted through cultural studies, where the question of what is art comes to play. Banksy is clearly making a statement by the artwork of a man power washing away a very important history discovery. To many people, art is simply someone's feelings in a visual form. So why is the cave painting of Les Gaulle's art and Banksy's work isn't? Is it simply not art because it makes one think? Is it not art because the government decides it's wrong? Is it not art because it's breaking the law? According to the journal The Law of Banksy, who owns street art, most if not all street artists display their art in an urban setting. Place it on private property without the owner's consent and display it in a public setting, which only implies that they are violating trespassing and vandalism laws. In addition, they give up the ownership to their artwork.
While many people consider graffiti to be vandalism or have the misinterpretation of it being associated with gangs, what many people don't know is that graffiti has been around since ancient times. It was used to proclaim love and express political discontent. Banksy's artwork could be depicted through Marxism. Graffiti is considered a crime or vandalism until someone recognizes a well-known street artist's work. Usually then, they tend to want to claim ownership or preserve the artwork. While graffiti done by any normal person is considered vandalism. When people try to claim ownership of famous people's work, they could be sold for hundreds of millions of dollars, as we have seen with some of Banksy's work. Various of Banksy's artwork has been auctioned with his Keeping It Spotless artwork selling for $1.7 million, making it the most expensive Banksy ever sold. As we could see, Banksy's artwork is extremely popular and controversial. While many people believe street art is a crime and vandalism, we must step back and take a look at what each artist is trying to tell. Not all art is in a museum, and not all artists want to be in one. Like Banksy once said, graffiti doesn't always spoil buildings. In fact, it's the only way to improve a lot of them. In the space of a few hours, with a couple of hundred cans of paintings and paint, I'm hoping we can transform a dark, forgotten filth pit into an oasis of beautiful art. This is my artwork. I titled it Dolor, or Pain in English. My inspiration was Banksy and his artwork. He is known to make artwork on political issues and make a statement. I chose to make a collage because I would be able to show various of things as opposed to only one. I live in a country that is known for its freedom. Yet every day, people are being torn away from their family through immigration laws. DACA is and will always be an issue that is dear to my heart. As a DACA recipient, I am affected by any changes the government does to this program. As a DACA recipient, I am also aware that we are not criminals, and rather we are here to contribute to the community in a positive way. We all just want to better ourselves and live the American dream. When we think about immigration, many of us immediately think of Latinos, forgetting that other races are also immigrants. The travel ban is another example of the mistreatment and racism affecting America. Which brings me to our government. Is it doing the right thing or are we repeating history? Is separating families okay? Why are people so afraid of change? Do we need change? Could we possibly make America great again?